This coffee cost $26, and this one sold for $1.25. Around the world, 1.6 billion cups of coffee are sold every day. The number of coffee shops is growing day by day. Wir haben ähm, äthiopischen Wildkaffee seit ungefähr einem Jahr und äh, es ist äh, einer der beliebtesten Kaffees, die wir haben. Ähm, ich denke, der wilde Kaffee aus Äthiopien ist mit das Beste, was wir haben in diesem Laden. Do you know where the best coffee comes from? Did you know that the forest where coffee originated is in danger of disappearing? Ethiopia is known for its rich biodiversity. The country has numerous endemic birds, animals, plants and dense forests. There are 25 biodiversity hotspots in the world and Ethiopia is one of them. It is also the origin for the 38 crop varieties that are found in the world. Many tourists and researchers are attracted by the country's wildlife and endemic animals. Today, these tourists and researchers' attractions are in grave danger. Particularly, Ethiopia's unique and popular forest coffees are on the verge of disappearing. Scientists who have studied the case for years believe that if things continue like this, we would lose the forest and coffee altogether in the next 27 years. How many of us know this important fact? The wooden one, I'm a camera chap with how Chacano. Na Chaca, Catamanata, and Nakatafa, both to yellow Zuriat a farm at no. The main threat for Ethiopian forest coffee is deforestation. As a result, we are losing the genetic pool of all Arabica coffees. In the past 30 years, the southwestern highlands has lost 60% of its forest coverage. Farmers are clearing the densely populated forests in order to switch to other cash crops. The southwestern forests are the origin of coffee. It has insurmountable historical significance. The forests accumulate a wealth of biodiversity. It is home for varieties of coffee, which cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Conserving the forest ensures the sustainable cultivation of forest-grown coffee. The Ethiopian Coffee Forest Forum, or the ECFF, in collaboration with other concerned organizations, is spearheading an international campaign on how to save the forest and protect the biodiversity for sustainable use. The ECFF is the only non-governmental organization that is entirely dedicated to protecting the Ethiopian forest coffees. In 2005, the ECFF established the objective of conservation and sustainable use of forest coffee. Since its inception, ECFF has produced a great deal of scientific research. In collaboration with the Sustainable Development Research Center at the University of Bonn, ECFF has managed to conduct research and has trained numerous postgraduate students. The ECFF has recorded all varieties of coffees that are found in the southwestern Ethiopian forests. It provides hands-on training for coffee producers on conservation and sustainable use of forest coffee. It also certifies farmers who maintain and conserve the forest properly. Yeah,